Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a certified Dubsado specialist. And in this series of videos, I'm going through all the different settings you need to set up inside of your new Dubsado account. So in this case, we're going to talk about email, connecting your email to Dubsado. So in your settings, you're going to go to emails here. So in your email settings, you're going to see that you have three different options. You can connect with Google, which works if you have a Gmail or a Google Workspace email connect with Microsoft um, or SMTP for other options, okay? Um, the important thing to know with Dubsado's email is that you can only connect one email account per brand. So even if you have other people in your team inside of your Dubsado account, all the emails are gonna come from this main email address. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in with Google and connect that email address to this account. So you can see that it's telling me, you know, Dubsado will be able to view your email messages and settings and send emails on your behalf, which is fine. So if I go here, you can see that it's connected. So the important thing to understand with Dubsado's email is like how it sends. So Dubsado actually has a really good flow chart and I'm gonna show that to you. This is inside of their article and it shows, you know, if you send an email from Dubsado, it's gonna go to your client's inbox and it's gonna show in your sent folder. So if I send an email to my client from Dubsado using the Dubsado you know, email portion inside of a client's project, it's gonna to go to the client and it's also gonna show inside my Google Workspace sent folder. So I can see that I sent it in Dubsado, but I can also see that I sent it inside of Google, okay? Which is great, I can see it in both places. And then when my client replies, it's gonna come into their project email inbox, so I can see it in Dubsado, and I can also see it in my Google Workspace inbox. So what happens at this point, you know, if you reply to that client's reply, if you write it inside of Dubsado, you continue this chain. But if you go and you reply from your Google Workspace, like from your Gmail inbox, and you reply from there, you broke that chain. So that email that you wrote from your Gmail account directly back to your client is not gonna show in Dubsado anymore. That chain is broken. So to continue having that kind of like chain of emails inside of Dubsado, you have to make sure that you always respond inside of Dubsado. And again, it's completely up to you. I sometimes do, I sometimes don't, depending on what I'm doing, where I am, all these different options. Um, I may choose to reply through Google, through my Google Workspace, or I might reply in Dubsado. Just know that that chain will be broken if you reply in Google. That's what I want you to understand. The other thing to know inside of your email settings is you can toggle this on for the tracking pixel so it shows if your client has read the email. Just know that it may not be completely accurate. Um, here it says, you know, it may not work in certain apps such as the Gmail mobile app. I've also heard that for Apple, it may not work anymore. So it may show that your client has read it when they haven't really. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And the last thing I want you to know is that as you work inside of Dubsado, if you see certain errors pop up um, as you're, you know, sending emails, as you're going through workflows, just know that those errors might be caused by your email connection. So if you're starting to see errors, emails won't send, there's something weird going on, the first thing that I recommend to my clients is disconnect your email and connect it again. Especially if you've changed the password in your email account, it may cause issues sending emails in Dubsado. So disconnect and reconnect and see if that clears the errors. Um, that's always the best place to start is with your email connection. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how to connect your calendar to Dubsado. So I'll see you next time.